Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to talk about fancy quants. So for those of you that have watched the channel over the years, you know that I've kind of mentioned fancy quant. Um, there's a bunch of different logos, you know, a function of quant. Uh, it realistically represents, for my channel, fancy quant. It's who I am, uh, it's what I teach, it's what I believe. Well, let's dive on in and talk about what it is and why it's important. <laughs> So a lot of times I go by Fancy Quant, I don't push it a lot on the channel, I don't talk about it a lot, but the theme of Fancy Quant is actually ran all the way through my videos, my content, my branding, and basically everything I represent. So exactly what is Fancy Quant? Fancy Quant is a combination of Fancy and Quant, right, is the two parts of the word here. We all know what Quant is, quantitative mathematics, statistics, computer science, typically applied to finance, can be data science, and a bunch of other stuff. But being quantitative in itself is extremely hard. And so a lot of us spend years and years, you know, masters, PhDs, um, research, academics, like you're putting all this time and effort into studying and doing all this work, you want to be a quant. That's half the equation. The fancy part though represents the business side, the soft side, um, putting the details together, putting those things together that typically don't go with quants. So a lot of us spend so much time on the quant side, which is awesome, right? I'm a big supporter of quants, but at the same time, in a career you have kind of two pieces or two stages. There's the individual contributor, which is what you start out with, right? You're starting out, you're doing analysis, you're doing analytics, you're super excited, you're really motivated, and then you get to this point in your career where it's like, I kinda wanna do something bigger and better, I wanna be a manager, I wanna get promoted, but a lot of times it just doesn't happen. The reason being is that to be a manager, so you have the individual contributor half and you have the manager half, to be in that manager half, you need to be good with people, right? You need to have soft skills, you need to present yourself well, you need to talk confidently, you need to know what you're talking about, you need to be able to see the big picture and not necessarily just the details. So quants in general, a lot of times we fail miserably because we focus so much on the quant side and it's so hard to be a quant that we spend all of our waking moments just doing the quant material. What ends up happening though is that we neglect these soft skills and the soft side, and I do push this occasionally, but not a ton, and I should be pushing it more, and that is we need to build the soft skill side. So to get from an individual contributor to a manager, you need to be able to manage people. You need to be able to sit in meetings and talk intelligently, but you need to be able to gauge your audience and talk more at a high level, and not go into the details. So as a quant, me specifically, I struggle a lot with that because right, I pitch some model and I start going into all these assumptions and issues and the dynamics behind it and why it makes sense and I'm really excited about it and then you lose your audience because you know senior managers or other departments or business units, they just don't understand and they just don't care because these are all just little nitty gritty details that don't really concern their job. So being able to step back from a business perspective and a management perspective, right, the fancy side, is being able to kind of pitch, you know, those soft skills and that development. If you can build both sides, so the fancy business soft side and the quant side, you're gonna be on a great career path to being a manager that works in the quantitative realm. Not everybody's cut out to do this. Not everybody wants to do this. I've seen people their entire careers be more or less individual contributors. They're excellent, they're experts, they're subject matter experts, what we call them, SMEs in banking. But the thing is, they're just not gonna make it to that management side, and they might not even want to make it to that management side. But for this channel, I am pushing a lot of you to kind of think about both halves here, right? Focusing on that quant side is awesome, but we also need to develop the soft skills. Um, a lot of my How to Get a Job series will talk more or less about these soft skills, presenting, discussing, interviewing, I'm trying to be more personal and I'll try to make more videos on this. The other portion here though of the fancy side is learning like social cues and presentation. So I dress in suits or something similar to a suit. So I wear like a vest, a button up shirt and a tie or a jacket, a button up shirt and a tie every single day when I go into the office. Um, this is not common. My team does not require this. You can wear khakis and like a polo in our area of work, right? And no one really cares but I still wear the same thing every single day. Um, my fanciness side, right, it's coming out. I want to be an executive. I want to work in the 
you know, CRL realm. I want to be someone who's leading teams. Um, to do this though, you need to be taken seriously. You need to present yourself well. Again, so more on the business side here, you need to come off as very polished, professional, and well-spoken. To do this is challenging. So those are kind of what Fancy Quant is. That's kind of my take on it. Um, if you guys look here on my Instagram as well, I'll show you a bunch of pictures. I wear a suit again every day, like I mentioned. I wear awesome fancy socks, which I love. Kind of shows my personality. Uh, the two areas I focus on are socks and ties. Uh, but you guys can have fun with this. You can dress awesome. You can feel great. You can still be a quant. You can still present yourself well in a business setting. And I think there's not enough attention to this combination of both the fancy side and the quant side. I feel like we either pick one side or the other. So you're either a business professional or you're a quant, but blending these two together is crucial for a successful career in quantitative finance. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.